there, my name's Kayleigh and today I'm going to teach you a bit of art. So uh, the Wonder Woman film is out just now and I thought it'd be a good idea if we draw some superheroes today. So I know you don't all have lots of materials in your house and you might just want to um, use a pencil today. So all you'll need is a pencil, a rubber, a sheet of paper and if you've got any coloured materials or paints or anything then you're more than welcome to bring those as well. But all you need is a pencil and a sheet of paper really. And today um, it's going to look a little bit like this. So this is my Wonder Woman character and I've created her based on, yeah, there's been loads of Wonder Woman like drawings and films and everything that's been out there. But I thought this is my take on Wonder Woman. And the way I'm going to show you how to do it is you can turn yourself into a superhero. So I'll show you the main basis of how to draw a person. And once we've drawn a person, then you can add on all your outfit that you're going to be wearing. You could have a cape, you could have like cool hair, headband, mask, um, shield, swords. What else would your superhero have? Um, so this is my take on Wonder Woman and it's, I would say it's pretty much me dressed up as Wonder Woman. Um, so what to do is grab your pencil and a sheet of paper and I'm going to turn my camera around so that you get a really good close up view of me drawing along and you can draw along too. Enjoy! So we're going to start just with a blank sheet of paper. I've just got a white sheet, but if you've got any other sort of colour that you want in the background, then by all means, off you go. Um, and I've just got a normal pencil. So to draw Wonder Woman, we're just going to start with a few simple shapes. And this is a really good way for you to draw any sort of person that you want to. Um, if you're drawing your own superhero, then you can follow along. And then when it comes to actually drawing in all different parts of the clothes and the cape and the headband, then you can choose your own as well. So I'm going to start off just near the top of my paper here with a nice circle for the head. It might take you a couple of shots just to get your circle just right, but see if you draw it round and round and round like I'm doing. Then you can choose the line that you like best and then just rub out all the other ones you don't need. It's a really good way of doing it and it gets you a really lovely circle shape. And then just go around the outside of the, the one that you really want to keep in there. So this is going to be the circle for my head. Below that, I'm going to add in a little bit of a neck, because we'll want her to have a neck in there, don't we? So it's just two little lines on either side, however wide you want your neck. And now I'm going to draw in some shapes. So I'm going to use, I'm going to be quite heavy with my pencil so you can see it okay, but I want you to have really, really light lines. Try and keep it really light. And that way it'll be easier to rub out afterwards. So we're going to draw in a triangle first. So this is roughly where our shoulders go. And then you're going to bring it down into a triangle. Oh, there we go. And don't worry if you get any bits wrong, just rub them out. Don't be scared of rubbing things out. Everyone gets things wrong at times. I'm just tidying mine up a little bit. There we go. So we've got a cool triangle now. And this is going to be our shoulders coming down into our waist. At the bottom of this triangle, I want you to draw a, a rectangle. I was going to say a square. It's a rectangle. Your rectangle is going to be just like that. And this is going to be her hips. So if you're doing any sort of person, this is a really good way to do it. Below here, we're going to go onto the legs. So if you think about your leg right now, you've got three parts to your leg. You've got the top bit, which is the thigh. You've got the second bit, which is the shin, and then you've got the foot. So I'm going to draw those in just with sausages. So I'm going to draw one sausage here, and this is going to be the top of the leg. Then I'm going to draw a little circle for the knee, because your knee's kind of circle shaped, isn't it? And then I'm going to draw a third sausage for the shin, sorry, a second sausage for the shin here. And then a little circle for the ankle, because you've got your your ankle at the bottom there and then our last little sausage just coming out the front here which is our foot. Now you've got a leg and the good thing about this is it makes it so much easier to draw your other leg and you get some really nice shapes out of it so it makes it look more realistic. So we're going to draw a second one in so I'm going to do another sausage here followed by a circle and followed by another sausage here. There we go and another circle and then your foot down the bottom. Now I draw very fast but I do draw every single day of my life. 
so that's why. So if you need to stop and pause the video to catch up, then please do. Oh, now I'm just drawing my version of Wonder Woman. Obviously, there's been lots and lots of different versions and the new film that's coming out, she's mega cool. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep her as cool as that she is there, but it's more of a cartoon version. Next then, we're gonna add in some lines for our arms. And the arms are the same as the legs. So if you think about your arm, you've got the top part of your arm, you've got your elbow, you've got the bottom part of your arm, and you've got your hand. So we're gonna draw some more sausages. So, sausage number one, into our elbow. Sausage number two, into our wrist, which is a circle. And then I'm going to draw another little sausage just for the hand here. And if you think about it, your hands actually, you've got sausage, sausage, loads of them. <laughs> you can make it up with loads and loads of shapes. Right, now let's get our other arm in and then we're going to start putting some cool outfits on her. So we've got another one. And just think it comes from the shoulder here. So you want a wee bit of an overlap with your triangle into your elbow part of your arm and then your hand. Now I'm actually going to put a shield on this side so it turns out you're not really going to see this bit but it's good to mark it in just anyway and then that way you know that your arm's the right size. So now comes the fun bit. So we've drawn all these shapes in and now we get to go over the top and get them looking really realistic. So what I want you to do is just take your pencil to the top of the neck here and you're going to follow right the way around the outside and get it looking really nice. So down the neck and along the shoulders, you're going to bring it down the arm, to we point at the elbow, down the front of the arm and into the hand. And you're going to bring the hand up. I'm just going to give her a wee, a wee thumb here. Yeah, done a little thumb just about there. Then bring your pencil all the way back up this arm and at the elbow back in under the arm. And then when you reach just where it's about to touch the triangle and this oval, you're gonna bring it down just round the outside of your triangle. Bring it in a little bit and back out to the hip like that. So these are guide shapes. You don't always trace right round them, but it's good to have them there to see how it works. So you've got up to the armpit, bring it down into a little curve and then bring it out down here and we're going to do exactly the same on this side so we'll go around over the shoulder down the arm into the elbow point down the front of the arm into the hand add on wee thumb up the wrist into the elbow up to the underarm when you get to the underarm Remember what we did over here? You're going to bring it down the outside of that triangle in a little bit and back out to that rectangle like that. So now what we get to do, so we're going to stop here, we'll do the legs after. We're going to rub out all the little bits we don't need in here. So we'll grab your rubber and just rub out these little bits. All these lines that we've used to guide ourselves to make the picture. And then we're going to rub it out and it's going to look so clean and tidy afterwards. Look at that. Now, you can hardly see any lines on it. Yours will be even better because you've, you've leaned really light. I've obviously got to be a wee bit heavier with my pencil so you can see it okay. So that's just got our main shapes there. Next, we're going to do our legs. So you're going to do the legs exactly the same as you did all the arms. You've managed it already. We're going to bring this down the front into the knee, into the leg. So bring that nice and straight. You don't want it too rounded. Straight down into the foot, round the ankle, back up into the knee and back up here. And then stop a bit here and come back down this leg like this. You're just tracing around the outside of these shapes. And then a nice wee curve coming up here because you don't want to go in too far. Wee curve coming up 
straight at the front like we did before, round your knee and back up. So simple. Now if you were drawing a pirate or a policeman or a fireman or any sort of person at all, even an Eskimo, you know, it could be anything. You can use these shapes to do that again. There we go. So we've got the outline of a person now. Now let's dress her. So we're going to add on our cool Wonder Woman outfit. So from the armpits here, what I'm going to do is draw a big M shape. Like this. And then I'm going to draw another one just underneath. I'm going to draw a little bit of a square coming up here, like this. And this is the gold bit that's at the top of our dress. Now I'm going to add in the belt. So the belt sits, so where you've got her coming in at the hips here, at the waist, sorry. We're going to draw a W. And this is W for Wonder Woman. And this is a nice easy way to draw the Wonder Woman belt. So once you've got your W in, I want you to take a line out either side of it. Then another one underneath, into the W, underneath, and just trace it right round out that side. And then up here, you're going to draw another line, trace it round, back up. We've got our Wonder Woman belt in. Now it's up to you what the outfit looks like. You could be doing a totally different superhero that you want to make, um, or you could be copying this exactly. So if you are, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of a skirt. So the skirt kind of goes like this. You've got a little bit of a curve, and you're gonna bring it out either side. There we go. And you can rub out any lines that are in the middle now. We don't need those. Because the skirt comes right over the top. It's just a really wavy line at the bottom here. If you rub out any lines that you don't mean to, you can always go back over the top. She's got her skirt. I'm going to give her a wee bit more detail on here, I think. So what we can do is maybe bring a line down the middle. And you can do this anyway. Like, give her any sort of pattern. It could be really cool. I'm going to just bring that down like that. And just bring that out. Nice. Now let's add in a shield. So what side will we put the shield in? I think maybe this side. We've got a wee bit more space here. So what we'll do is we're just going to draw a circle. And our circle goes a little bit like this. Like we did the head. Now anything that is in that circle there, we can rub out because we don't need any more because this, this is sitting in front of it. So just rub out this behind it and the arm, we don't need that either. And we've got the circle of the shield. You can draw another little circle inside here. Just trace it right the way around the inside. And then there's lots of different shields that she's got over time. She's had quite a few. But I'm just going to copy what I did here with the W. So I'm going to add a W here. Take it out the sides. And then trace around the outside like this. And there you go. Wonder Woman shield. I'm just tidying up any little lines I don't need. Because as you go along, you might have a few that you just need to take out. Okay, what will we add in next, do you think? I think, oh, she's got a little band in her arm, doesn't she? Let's add that in. So it's just two little lines like that. Quite cool. You can add in some boots. Um, so our boots come up to about here and they come into a point. You can just draw a sort of triangle point coming up. And we can draw another wee one below it. 
like this. So it's the same sort of design as we've got up here. If you like designing dresses and outfits, then you'll know exactly what's going on. It's all matching really nicely. Tidy that up a bit. Okay, and this is your boots that come all the way down. And put the colour in, you'll see the difference between them as well. You might want to add in some more little points just at the ankle here as well. Just done exactly the same all the way down there. Okay, now let's add in her headband. So the headband's pretty cool. It just comes along, so you're going to do a little bit of a triangle in the middle here. And then the same as you did with your W, so it's like a V. Bring that out on either side. And then you're going to copy it just above. So it's a V with a line out either side and then just copy it above. I'm going to add in some little eyes. So you can do any sort of eyes you like. I'm just doing two little dots. I think they work really well. But if you want to add in certain cartoon eyes, it could work great. You know, you could think about all the different types of eye shapes you could have. I'm going to add in a little nose. So I'm just doing just a little curve for the nose. Again, you could do your own style. If you're really into drawing comic books, you'll know lots of different nose styles. And a little smile, because she's happy. You know, she's like, she's killing all the, the bad guys. She's on it. And then the bit I like doing best is we're going to do the hair now. So, the hair, in fact, you know what? She's not getting ears. Let's add in some ears. There we go, ears on either side. And then we're going to do the hair. So the hair comes from the middle of the head here. And you want to take it up, round, and just be really wild with it. On either side. She's got loads of hair. It's my favourite thing to do. And you might have a wee bit if it comes under the arms here. Like that as well. And then from this middle bit, we want to just bring a little line down like that. It goes underneath the headband and down to there. Another line that comes down underneath the headband into the back of the ear. And it's almost like she's got her hair tucked in behind her ear at either side. And then you can rub out this line of the head. Because that joins on the hair. There we go. Now Wonder Woman's got her hair. I'm so happy with how this is looking. I think she's definitely got that Wonder Woman look to her. Um, and it's up to you if you want to add in any more little details. You know, she could have her sword. She could have things in the background as well. Um, I'm going to add a wee kind of rocky ground for her. There we go. She's standing on something now. You could have like a stormy sky behind. Just have a think about so many different things you could do. Let your imagination run wild. Now I'm going to add in some colour. Um, if you've got some colour and pencils or some pens there, uh, you might have some paints even, whatever you've got lying about, you feel free to use. Um, I've just got some normal colouring pencils here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shade. Um, so if you're wanting to carry on with a bit of colouring, you can just see the sort of colours that I'm using and decide whether that's for you or not. Um, again, if you're doing your own superhero, have a think about what sort of colours you would have for your cape, for your outfit. I know Wonder Woman sometimes got a cape in some films and not in others. This one here, I'm saying she's not got a cape. She's got her shield. She's doing good with that. So if you've ever, if you're looking for a little bit of a tip on shading in with coloured pencil, my top tip is just hold your pencil quite flat to your paper. So it's, you know, you're, you're not holding it up the way like this. You're holding it down this really relaxed and try and hold it quite far back you'll see how far back I'm holding my pencil right now rather than being away up here that's for little details you want to hold it a little bit further back and just have fun with it you don't want to be too stressed by it you just want to enjoy it so that's our got our brown hair in okay next up I'm going to add in the red, so the red comes in here. Oh, my red's a wee bit pinky. That's okay. There 
this top bit's red. I'm going to give her red boots as well. Like this. Sometimes I like to think of myself as Wonder Woman. I think that would be the, the character I'd be most, for sure. Um, you can add in maybe a wee bit blue. Let's find a nice blue. That could oh, here's a kind of purpley blue. I like this. This is going to be for her skirt. More purple than blue. Let's go purple then. And just shade that in. If you wanted to add the little stars or something to it, you could. That would be an idea for you. And then most of the other stuff she's got there is quite quite a goldy colour. Um, so I've got a kind of light brown goldy colour I'm going to use just for her headband here. So you might need to hold your pencil a little bit closer just to get the details in for the headband. For this bit. Her belt. She's got a lot of gold on her, or kind of goldy bronze colour something. Um, or if you don't have, if you've only got a few coloured pencils, a wee yellow would be lovely. Technically all you need is a yellow, a red and a blue and a brown. And top of the boots. Oh, I missed the feet of my, my boots. Better get those on red. My red. The shield as well. I'm gonna have my shield quite goldy coloured. There we go. And do you know what? I kind of want this bit to stand out a bit more, so I'm gonna get my brown that I used for my hair. I'm just gonna give it a wee light layer over the W bit because yeah it's a bit you want to stand out isn't it? So you can always layer your coloured pencils up on top of one another. It's the best way to get your shading in. Maybe around the outside as well. If you've just used your yellow as well, yellow and brown mix lovely together. standing out much better. Um, skin tone, you can go for any sort of skin tone you like, you know, um, up to yourself. I'm going to use just a kind of, what will I do, a wee bit of a light yellow. She's going to have a wee bit of a Simpsons look about her. I'm going to put a wee bit of a light yellow on, just a wee idea for you. You can always do a light yellow, like this, and then layer a wee bit pink on top. And it gives you a wee bit of a skin tone if you don't have special skin tone pencils. Because um, I know they're quite hard to come by. And I don't have any sitting here either just now, so I'm just going to put a wee layer of pink, a wee layer of yellow. If you were doing a dark skin tone, um, you can just use different brown shades as well to add in over the top. Oh, another wee light yellow and all the skin bits and a wee light pink over the top. I'll show you the example of getting a darker skin tone as well. So if you were to get your, say your brown as well, you could almost put a wee bit of brown in there just to get the skin tone coming out. And the more brown you put in, the darker the skin tone. If you want to add in some darkness to her hair as well, that would be an option. Um, I've got like a, a real dark brown in here, so you could add in... Oh, that's red. <laughs> Where's my brown? No, 
can't find my green. I lost it. Well, here's a kind of dark colour. Even if you just put a bit of a dark colour in. It's a wee bit brownie. You can have that coming in over the top. It gives a wee bit of texture to the hair and darkens it down a little bit. This is a kind of grey brown colour. Oh, and don't forget the wee bits there as well, which will be in the background. And if you want to colour in the whole background, you can. Um, it would work really well just having lots of blues and purples and everything shining through too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that with Wonder Woman. And if you want to make your own superhero, I'd love to see them. So you can always pop them in the comments. Um, thanks very much.